Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be solving the lead code question 3 sum. Okay, so basically in this question we're given an input of an array with n integers and uh, we need to find out uh, unique triplets which add up to the value 0. And uh, note that there, these are unique triplets so we cannot have any repetitions. For example, over here we're given this array and uh, our solution for this is going to be negative 1, 0, and 1 because when you add this, you get a total of 0. And same way, when you add this, you get a total of 0. All right, so let's see how we can solve this question. My first thought for solving this problem was to first iterate for three different numbers, uh, a, b, and c. And we're going to keep changing the values of a, b, and c until we get something which adds up to 0. So that's just going to take up a lot of time and it's not an efficient solution. So a lot better solution would be to first, we're first going to select one number. So in the beginning, we're just going to pick this number. So negative one. Now our next, now we need to find the other two numbers. So let's just call them B plus C and they have to equate to zero. So in this little uh, function we have, what we need to think about is what number should B plus C equate to in order to make this true? In other words, b plus c has to equate to, let's move this over here, so that's just nothing but 0 plus 1. So b plus c has to equal to 1 in order to make this function true. So basically what we're doing, we're running a search algorithm, we're going to run a search algorithm in order to find out the best, the solution for b plus c in such a way that they equal to the number 1. So let's just see how that's going to look like. Since we're using a search algorithm to find the values of B and C, what we're going to do, the most, the most optimum way is to use the two-point solution, where we're going to start off with one point at the uh, highest value and one at the lowest value. So the first step to doing that is to first sort our input. So we're just going to sort our input, and this is how it's going to look like. Okay, so this is how our uh, sorted array is going to look like now. So what we're going to do is first we're going to take in a value for certain. So our first value is negative 4. Now we need to find the values of b plus c such that this equation equals to 0. So in this case, b plus c must equate to the number 4 because 4 plus negative 4 equals 0. So we're going to run a search algorithm starting from here all the way to the ending. So how we're going to do that is we're going to set a value called a lower bound value and we're also going to set a upper bound value. I'll just call, uh, I'm just going to call it higher. So we have a lower and higher. So now we're going to add these two numbers first. So negative 1 plus 2 we get a value of 1. So 1 is lesser than 4. So we're going to increase the value of the lower by uh, to the next index. So now we're going to cross that out and this is our new value. So then we have negative 1 plus 2, which is 1. So that 2 is, uh, so that's also lesser than 4. So we're going to move the lower by 1. So now we have 0 plus 2, that's 2, still less than 4. So now we're going to move lower by 1 again. And now we have 2 plus 1, which is uh, 3. So that's still lower than 4. So uh, that means we're not actually going to find an answer for this. So we're just going to change our uh, value of neg so instead of negative 4 we're going to go to the next uh, the number at the next index okay so right now since negative 4 didn't work out we can just cross that out and we're going to take our next number so in this case we'll take the number negative 1 so we're going to take negative 1 and now we need to find the value of b plus c so that it equals to 0 so b plus c must have a total value of 1 Okay, so now let's uh, do the same steps. We're going to set a lower value and a higher value. Okay, so now let's add this up. Negative 1 plus 2. So that gives us a value of 1. So that means that b is equal to negative 1 and c equals to 2. So let's just uh, plug it into this equation. So that's nothing else but doing negative 1 plus negative 1 plus 2. So that's negative 2 plus 2, which equals to 0. So that's correct. So now we're going to add this to our answer. So how our answer is going to look like is uh, we're going to 
add this list of negative 1, comma, negative 1 again, and then 2 to our output list. So this is how our answer is going to look like for now. Just because we found one solution, we're not going to stop there. We're going to keep going. So what's going to happen is our left value, we're going to change it by 1. And we're also going to decrease our, right, uh, our higher value by 1. So now these are our two new values, 1 and 0. Okay, so now when you add 0 and 1, you also get a value of 1. So that means that we found another solution. So this solution is going to be negative, negative 1, comma, uh, then we have 0, and then we have 2. So we're going to append this list to our output list over here. And we're going to get our two solutions. Now we need to find out how can we make it so that our numbers, our, our solutions are, not, are unique and they're not being repeated. So let's just look at the next uh, next step of our of this problem so right now we're done with the number negative one and we found two solutions I just erased it but yeah we found two solutions but now we have the number negative one again so if we were to do the step again we're still gonna get the same values so and we're gonna it's just gonna uh, repeat and we're not gonna have a unique solution so in that case uh, since negative one is the same as the previous element, we're going to skip over this just so that we have unique solutions. So now we're going to perform it with 2, and uh, with 0 I mean, uh, but then we don't have any answers because 0 plus 1 plus 2, so that's also crossed out. Now what are we going to do with these two numbers? We actually can't do anything. So we're going to perform this uh, search algorithm only until the last but two elements. So for this case, we're going to perform it up to the zero, one, two, up to the third element. So we're not, we're just going to leave the fourth and fifth element out. So I think this is going to be a lot more easier to implement in code and understand. So let's see how that looks like. All right. So our first step is going to be to first sort our array. So nums dot sort. Okay. So now the, so now let's just uh, call out our output and make it a empty list and we also need to just define the length of numbers in the array so that's just going to be length of nums okay so now that we have this we're going to go inside of a for loop so for x in range starting from zero and this is going to be all the way up to the second uh, second to last element so length of nums minus two so we're going up to the second to last element Okay, so now that we have this, we need to first check if, um, so if our x value is greater than 0, or if it's not equal to 0, and nums x is equal to nums x minus 1, and in that case, that means that we're going to have a repetition. So what this basically means is that uh, nums x minus, uh, nums x, has the same value as its previous element. So in that case, we're going to get a list which is not going to be unique. So to keep the list unique, we're just going to, when this happens, we're going to skip through it. So we're going to do continue. And basically what continue does is it will go back to our for loop and it will go to the next element. So in that case, we're not going to have any, um, we're not going to have any repetitions. Okay, so now that we have this, we can now define our lower and higher uh, ranges. So lower, so the lower is going to have an index of x plus 1, so the next element of x. And the, for higher, we're going to have an index of the last, it's going to be the last element. So it's basically going to be the length of nums minus 1 because we're doing the last element and uh, indexing starts at the number zero. Okay, and now we're also gonna set a variable called target. So target is just gonna basically be, what is the number, you have, uh, like what does b plus c need to be equal to in order to make the whole equation zero? So in this case, it's nothing but zero minus nums x. 
Okay, so now that we have this, we can go inside of our while loop. So while higher is greater than lower. So while we're at a the index of higher is greater than that of lower. What we're going to do is we're going to first just make a total, right? And total is just going to have the value of nums uh, lower plus nums higher. And now we're going to check if this total is equal to the target, less than the target, or greater than the target. So let's set those three conditions. So if total is equal to target, then we have else, sorry, else if total is greater than target, and else if total is less than target. Okay, so what does this actually mean? So if our total is greater than the target, that means that we need to get a smaller value. So we're going to decrease the higher uh, value by 1. So minus equal 1. So we're going to decrease it by the index of 1. Now, if our total is less than the target, we need to increase our lower bound value. So in that case, we're going to increase lower by 1. Okay, so now what do we do if it's equal to the target? So the first thing we have to do is we're going to append those values to our output. So output.append, and we're going to append a list which contains nums x, uh, then the nums lower, and we're going to do nums higher. Okay, so now we're going to append these three uh, inside of a list, which then we append it to our output list over here. Okay. So now what our next step is going to be is to uh, increase the lower bound value by one and the upper bound and decrease the upper bound value by, uh, by decrease it by one as well. So our lower is going to get increased by one and our higher is going to get decreased by one. Over here, we need to check for one more thing, which is that we need to see if our lower and high, the new lower and higher values are the same as the previous lower and higher values. And if that is the case, that means that we're gonna get the same, uh, we're gonna get a repetition in answers. And since we need unique answers, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them inside of two while loops, and we're gonna iterate through them until we get a unique lower and higher value. Okay, so then we're gonna put that inside of a while loop over here. So first let's check for the lower values. So first, uh, the same thing, while higher, is greater than lower and we also need to put one more condition nums lower is equal to nums lower plus one so when that happens we're going to skip over that so we're just going to increase the value of lower by one so we're not going over that element similarly we're going to do the same for uh, our higher limit so while higher is greater than lower and nums higher is equal to nums higher, sorry, nums higher minus one. And in that case, we're going to decrease the value of higher by one, or minus equal one. Okay, so this should be our answer. And finally, we need to return it. Okay, so at the ending, we're going to return our output. Is that what I called it? Yep, output. Okay, so okay, let's submit it and see what happens. Okay, so our solution did get accepted. And finally, do let me know if you have a better solution to solve this problem. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. And I also post a lot more projects. All right, so thanks a lot.